is great uncertainty to the future of the outlet. Those words from Mayor Joseph Paolino, easily the understatement of the year to the men involved in the outlet redevelopment plan. The plan involved converting the upper floors of the building to about 200 apartments. The plan also suggested shops, possibly offices, would be located on the lower floors. At an afternoon news conference, Paolino said Claremont Associates is now reviewing whether to go ahead with the purchase and renovation at all. The city's intention is to try to save it, but we will also be practical, and I also know that the, the present owners and the future owners uh, will also be practical in regards to its future development. It was also disclosed at the news conference that the building was not insured and that it had no sprinkler system. There was no point in spending the, making the expenditures. The lawyer for the owners is Bentley Tobin. Tobin says it didn't make sense to spend $200,000 to fix the sprinklers in a building that was going to be ripped down. That was the original plan in the summer of 1985, to demolish the building. The demolition was put on hold when Paolino tried to save the building for historical reasons. He did, in fact, save it from the wrecking ball, but in the meantime, no one ever installed the sprinklers. Paolino says right now there is no law in Rhode Island that requires sprinkler systems in vacant buildings. Hindsight is 2020. Paolino says next year he'll file legislation in the General Assembly to make it the law. The fire may also affect some spin-off housing programs. Income from the outlet apartments was to have been used in part to pay for building low-income housing elsewhere in the city. The future of that program is also uncertain now. One final irony, those who wanted to tear the building down may actually get their wish in a few days. By tomorrow, the city building inspector will determine whether the building is structurally sound. Once that decision is made, it will then be decided whether the building should be boarded up or immediately demolished. Frank Coletta, News Watch 10, Providence.